Hello, my name is Chai Kit Hong, matrix number 146045 from School of Educational Studies. Hi, my name is Ho Zi Wei, matrix number 147118 from School of Educational Studies. We designed a circuit for deaf people where LED will light up if someone press the doorbell and says hello, or the water in the kettle is boiled for 5 minutes and no button is being pressed, or someone says hello. And the notation for each criteria is as shown. Notation for someone press doorbell is O, someone says hello is B, water in kettle boil for 5 minutes is Y, and button is being pressed is G. This is the truth table for our circuit. Components still in the circuit are 2 N gate, 1 OR gate, 1 NOT gate, 1 LED, 1 1 kilo ohm resistor, wires, and 1 9 volt battery. Consider the situation where someone is pressing the doorbell and says hello, the water is boiled for 5 minutes and a button is being pressed. The situation is equivalent to the truth table below. This means that all of our inputs must connect to high voltage so that when the battery is connected in our circuit, the LEDs will light up, which is same as our truth table. So for another situation where someone is pressing the doorbell and says hello, but the water in the kettle does not boil for 5 minutes and the button is being pressed. This means our input green Orange and blue is connected to high, while yellow is connected to low. And we connect our battery into circuit, the LED will light up. Then for another situation, when someone is pressing a doorbell, but no one says hello, the water in the kettle does not boil for 5 minutes, and button is being pressed. So this is same as the green and orange is connected to high, while yellow and blue is connected to low. And we connect the battery into our circuit, we will see that our LED does not light up. And now for situation 4, when someone is pressing the doorbell but no one says hello, the water in the kettle does not boil for 5 minutes and no button is being pressed. So this is same as only orange is connected to high while the green, yellow and blue is connected to low. And we connect our battery to the circuit, we will see our LED will not light up also, which is same as our truth table. And now for situation 5, when no one is pressing the doorbell and no one says hello, but the water in the kettle is boiled for 5 minutes while no button is being pressed. So this situation is same as the yellow is connected to 1 while green, orange and blue is connected to low and we connected our battery to the circuit, the LED will light up. So let's consider the last situation when someone is not pressing the doorbell but says hello and the water in the kettle is boiled for 5 minutes and button is being pressed. So the situation is same as green, yellow and blue is connected to high while orange is connected to low. Then we connect our battery into it. We will see our LED will also light up which is same as our truth table. When the input of the IC is floating, this means that the input is not connected to any high or low voltage state. In this situation, the input is in an indeterminate state, and its value will oscillate between the value 1 and 0. So, this will cause our output become not predictable because we do not know the exact value of input in the integrator circuit. The first problem is LED do not light up. At first, we are using transistor-transistor logic TTL for N gate and NOT gate, CMOS variation for OR gate. The output for TTL is 2.4 voltage. However, in CMOS variation, the logic 1 operates above 3 volt, so the output voltage from TTL, N gate and NOT gate are not able to power up OR gate. So, LED do not light up. In order to solve this, we change all logic circuits to CMOS variation because 3 input OR gate only available in CMOS variation. After that, LED light up. The second problem is LED damage because the voltage is too high. So, we place a resistor to reduce the voltage and replace a new LED.